Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. I'm Andrew the Love Doctor, and I specialize in breakups and creeping, lying, and cheating in relationships. Sometimes, other than dealing or recovering from narcissistic abuse, something will push you into chronic post-traumatic stress disorder. Read the death of my mom. Right now, after five months, I'm beginning to sort through my mom's things and throwing them away and keeping the memories. Anybody remembers this? The Afro pic back from the 70s? You actually have a puff, Afro puff, put this in the back of your hair and walk the streets. It was cool back then. Today, I'm going to discuss red flag number 97. What did I do wrong with the narcissist? In every relationship breakup, when cheating is involved, the question is always asked, what did I do? The narcissist will make you feel you were the cause of the breakup. You were the problem. They were the victim. You must use logic to combat a narcissist. Knowledge is power. You need to utilize that power to destroy the illusions that was created by the narcissist. Such as the illusions of they loved you. When you utilize your power correctly, moments of clarity will settle, settle in. And you will start to see everything for what it was. I remember an episode of Cheaters where a man caught his wife with a drag racer and had a nervous breakdown on the camera. He dropped to his knees crying, saying, what did I do wrong? I did nothing wrong. I understood that man's pain all too well, and I felt sorry for him. During the times of a breakup, the dumpy always looks inward and thinks the relationship may have been due to something he had done. Think it's their fault and ask themselves, what does the other person have that I don't have? What's wrong with me? Well, there may not be anything wrong with you. I find that eight out of 10 times when someone leaves you, is because of selfish reasons. Selfish reasons, they want someone else. And I'm gonna break it down to you in this video. And I'm gonna give it to you straight up and I'm gonna give it to you truthful. They liked you from the start. They saw that you had nice things and that you was generous to a fault. They thought that they would grow to have more feelings for you than they actually did. But as they continued to spend time with you, it became more and more obvious and apparent to them that their feelings weren't deepening or changing. They felt that they could hold out or suffer because they didn't want to give up this good person. They know you were good to them. You just wasn't good enough for them. They think someone else will be. You didn't quite satisfy them. Who you didn't fit into the image they want in their minds and what they wanted in a mate. You follow me so far? Now, as time passed, you would say and do things that irk their nerves or piss them off. But they either ignored it to keep the peace. Because again, they felt that they should feel more than they should have felt for you because you were a good person. Now here's the kicker. The part that it is hard to comprehend. All of this inner turmoil about you was being bottled up inside them. That's why in the near end, they started acting differently towards you. Red flag. People will treat you differently 
when they have been involved sexually, emotionally, or spiritually with another. Run! And finally, they talked to their family, most likely a woman, about you, them, and your situation. Your situation. They laid it all out for them and told them everything. Red flag. See the non-loyalty here? Your life's partner, who's supposed to be sharing everything with you, is sharing everything with you with someone else. Run! Loyalty means I'm down with you whenever you are right or wrong, but I will tell you when you're wrong and I will help you get it right. Red flag. When a relationship is ended in an immature manner such as this, this is game and non-loyalty being removed for your life, from your life. Run. She was unable or unwilling to communicate to you. Red flag. Cowards talk to everyone else but you. Run. Red flag. Cowards are the loudest ones to discuss communication, but don't know what communication is. If they knew what communication was, they would be talking to you instead of other people. Run! Red flag! Whenever you attempt communication, you will encounter the preschool mode. Preschool is when they dummy up when like they're uneducated. This is the reason why you never ask why, because you will never get it answered. They just stare at you and go preschool. You know what preschool is. Preschool is when you tell a child, leave those cookies alone. I'll be right back. And you go away. Come back two minutes later into the room, catch a child with his arm in the cookie jar. Didn't I tell you to leave those cookies alone? Why is your arm in the jar? They just look at, at you. And they say nothing. That's preschool. Another example of preschool. And you can watch this. With the movie, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, where Helen spazzes out on Charles when he's in the wheelchair in his office. Observe the demeanor, because this has happened to you. This scene was goddamn artwork, because it was so well acted. Helen goes... I loved you. I never would have hurt you. Why did you do this to me? To us? Answer me! Notice how Charles just sits in the chair and he could barely look at Helen out of shame. That's preschool. One of the biggest mistakes in my life is believing people will show me the same love I've given them. That's what that scene said. Well, that's how adults act when they get caught cheating. They don't say anything. They're quiet as a little mousy. It's quite frustrating. To continue with why the breakup wasn't your fault. Red flag, whenever a person gets silent, they don't want to say anything that would expose themselves. Or they are wrong and don't want to admit it. 
take my word for it or you will live to regret it. Run! They told you, they told them their best bet was to leave you alone. They realized they were right. But they don't tell you. They'll cheat first, get comfortable with who they with. Then when they don't want you no more, then they give you their ass to kiss. They were told that they were doing a great disservice to themselves and to you, as well as continuing the charade of your relationship. Remember when I talked about going through the motions? That's the charade. And that you, they will be better off by going your separate ways. Now, in all of this, there was something you said and done that was the last straw for them and the catalyst for the decision to cut their losses. But that in no way, shape, or form places you in the position of blame for the breakup. What you need to do is focus on your future and not dwell in the past. That's going to take practice. I know it's easier said than done, but believe me, in the long run, it's the hard truth. You need to thank them for not being a trifling gold digging bitch. Because they could have continued to string you along indefinitely. You understand that? Indefinitely. So stop harboring animosity towards them and let them go. Then let it go. And move on. Block their number and erase it from your memory. Now when you leave them alone... They will try to come back with their, I'm sorry, I miss you, I'm terribly sorry. Don't you dare fall for that. The moment that occurs, the power has shifted and the ball is now in your court. Don't you dare give it back to them. Don't you dare give back your life. And place it back into their hands. You saw what they did the first time. They will do it again a second time. And repeatedly. Like I told you. There's people who've done this nine times. You are an idiot nine times. Be an idiot one time. Two times the most. If you take them back. You deserve Everything you get. Because you know better now. Deserve. To bring upon oneself. Due to cause and effect. In conclusion. You have to destroy the illusion. Of you were the problem. But at the same time. You have to prove. With words. Deeds and actions. If you cannot prove. With words, deeds, and actions, you align to yourself. To thine own self be true. Because the narcissist wasn't true with you. 